welcome to an episode of Betty's Kitchen and Garden. Oh yes, and this week we're going to do some planting. Yes, we are. We're going to get ready for spring. The sun's out today and I'm so excited. Anyway, last week what we did was look at soil and all them wiggly worms and getting our soil ready. So this week we're going to plant things. I'm so excited. And we're going to plant broad beans. That's right. Here's a broad bean. Lovely. Look at that. Broad bean. Broad beans. That's beautiful. And we're going to plant sweet peas. Sweet peas. Lovely. They're very tiny. Here they are. Now you could have planted these before Christmas. You can plant these in the autumn, late autumn, if you wanted to, I'm just going to show you sweet pea, they're very small. Oh, look at that little tiny pea. There we go. Now, I hear you cry, but Betty, we can eat those broad beans, but what about them sweet peas? Well, the thing is that what we need to do is once we've got our little seeds in the ground and in our soil and they're getting nice and warm and getting a little bit of liquid on them and so they're germinating, then they'll sprout up with green shoots and then what they'll do is they'll produce eventually some leaves and flowers. Now, we need at that point to attract what we call pollinators, which is just a posh word for or, um, little flying things that come and move from plant to plant. And then what they'll do is make sure that our little seeds become fruit. Otherwise, if we don't have that pollination going on, will not really produce anything. All right, so we need to encourage those pollinators and that's what the sweet peas are for because they're fragrant and smelly and they send out a message to those pollinators and they come running, well, flying anyway. So what's going to happen now is I've got all my things on the table and I'm just going to show you what I've got and we're going to get going. All right, is that all right? Everybody ready, are we? Yes, we're ready. Okay then, I'll see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Bye, bye, see you in a minute. Ready to go? Are you ready? Right, you're going to see me hands now. Okay, see you in a minute. Look, here we are, right. So what I've got is lots of little toilet roll inners and insides from, you know, paper things. And then I've put them inside plastic, little plastic tubs that we like get mushrooms and stuff from the supermarket because there's so much plastic in gardening already that you don't need any more just keep it in the loop all right i made a scoop loop out of a milk thing as well so i've got some soil here and i'm going to oh look at this making a right chaos here right so we're going to just fill these little tubes with some soil that's right we're not going to get too worried about it we might get a bit mucky with our hands all right yes here we go so I'm going to go make these tubes. There we are. A bit more soil, Betty. That's it. So here we go. There we are. Oh, look at that. Filling it up. There we go. So you don't have to be too worried about being neat and tidy. Monty Dunn's very tidy, isn't he? Look at this. I'm not. There we are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Have fun. There we go. So I've got some little tubes like this. Now, what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to do the broad beans. All right, I love a broad, but love a broad bean. All right, so how do I know my broad beans are fresh seeds? Well, you cut them open because they won't grow if they're dead. No, I know that's obvious, but sometimes. Anyway, so you cut them open and there we are. Look, they're nice and creamy and white on the inside. I can't use this one now because it's a bit exhausted because I've cut it. So I'm going to get some like this. Can you see them, broad beans? One each. Doesn't matter really which way they go up and down. Push them in for about a thumb's depth. Yes. So about like a thumbs, thumbs down, as it were. Thumbs uh, depth down. Don't pack them in too tight. If you feel like your soil's gone a bit tight, loosen it up because those poor little seeds, they're going to have to fight their way out, aren't they? So... When they grow, you want to give them a chance. They're like little babies, right? So fill it up with a bit of soil. There we go. There we are. And I'm going to put a bit of water on. Oh, got it everywhere. Never mind. There we are. And then I'm going to put them on one side. But I am going to label them because otherwise you don't know what you've done, do you? Now here is our sweet pea tray. And I'm going to do the same thing. So, oh, look, if you get a big lump like that, you break it up. That's it, just break it up. 
there we are sweet peas are very important to attract what we call them pollinators so insects and that sort of thing and also make beautiful lovely smelly flowers for you to cut and you can cut sweet peas every day and bring them in and have them smelling your house out in the most beautiful way and then you don't need any of them air fresheners or whatnot do you now i've got sweet peas everywhere i've got water everywhere oh it's all chaos but never mind doesn't matter so nothing bad will happen there we go all right so just a little bit of water on them and that's it simple pimple it's all done that's it so that's it lovelies that's how to get your sweet peas and your broad beans going so now what you're going to do is pop them somewhere nice and warm windowsill that sort of thing but don't worry too much just keep an eye on them keep watering them but not too much so maybe give them a water every other day something like that keep an eye on and then soon you'll have lovely sprouts showing i'll show you what mine look like in a bit all right so there you go so be inspired don't be shy go out get some seeds don't go too mad because you can get all trapped into all these beautiful pictures of you know veg and all that don't do that just get a few that you like get them going in your house or yeah in your house at the moment because it's a bit chilly outside it was snowing here the other day oh my and then when the frost is gone we can take them outside but not yet all right keep them in keep them warm and cozy all right that's it then lovely over and out from betty all right you take care keep warm everyone keep safe keep washing your hands all right keep your distance stay home cuddle up all right yeah lovely all right then see you soon love you bye love you bye love you <laughs>